one of the really great benefits of having these experts come into our district is it actually makes our district better. Having these professionals come in and complete classroom observations and provide feedback to us is so important. It makes you know teaching and learning in our district stronger. It is wonderful to hear from different perspectives. It is wonderful to hear validation of some of the initiatives that have been implemented. It is also it's also heartbreaking to know there's still so much work to be done. Our students' potential is limited by their own ability to dream. And so it's our job as educators to plant new dreams sure in their mind. They have to do, they can get to work. To expand way beyond their current context and their potential and to get them thinking about something way big, bigger and better than what they would have thought of when they walked through our schoolhouse doors on day one. When we get together with our cohort, I think we all come away from it with a renewed sense of purpose and, and drive to do great work in redefining READY and making sure that the indicators that we put together really serve as, a, as guideposts for districts across the nation. We have an opportunity to be very honest and very authentic about how equity and how race plays out in our respective school districts and then also learning how people are navigating that. So we've been very committed. We have a team of about four that's in that department right now. I've been very proud of, of the progress that we're making in that area. We're really thankful for the opportunity to be able to host the Transformational Leadership Consortium uh, in the Pewaukee School District. I'm really proud of the work that our teachers uh, and our leaders do in our system. Not only do we get to really think deeply about our own work and really try to, to present to our visitors um, the kinds of things that we're doing in hopes that they'll be able to have something that they can take away from it, but likewise I'm looking forward to any feedback that we can get as we work to continuously uh, improve the learning and the experiences for our own students. I've really enjoyed the vision that Mike has for the district and how he has brought the pro portrait of a graduate to life, a belief system, a belief structure, a belief culture um, around all students in his district and the six C's that they've identified uh, definitely speaks to the belief of their community and I'm excited to go back to Middletown City School District and really explore how we can uh, identify our competencies inside of our portion of the graduate this upcoming fall. Our um, leaders do not look like our students so a program like the Academy for aspiring Latina and Latino superintendents is critical today because we need to bring along more Latina and Latinos to take that top job. Only approximately 2% of superintendents across the nation are Latinos, Latinas. We need to change that because our student population is much more than that. The real question for us is how do we take this to scale? Um, that when one district does this work, it's uh, innovative. When a number of districts do the work, it, it really builds energy. But then mm -hmm. if we want to create this as something that is core to the instruction that we want to offer, it takes bringing this to scale and bringing it effectively to scale in a lot of districts. Legality working with superintendents who are going to be your colleague for a long time to come. Because typically you're in this little bubble as a superintendent or a principal, but now I have lifelong colleagues, individuals who I can reach out to, and basically I have critical friends, right? You have a critical friend now for life. And since I've been in the program, I've been in touch with three or four of the superintendents, and we talk regularly, maybe once or every two weeks. And that's important. So I think the lifelong collegiality is going to be critical. For me, this has just been a tremendous learning experience. Um, I value growth and I value the ability to learn from others. And what USC does really well and AASA does really well with this program is they pair instructional competencies with real life experiences. Um, most of our professors have been sitting superintendents in large urban districts. And we just learn not only from the theory and the actions behind um, their research and what they present to us, but also just from their personal experiences and life lessons um, in that role. Being 
in a cohort where you now have an entire group of other superintendents from all across the country that you can bounce ideas off of, that you can send emails, that you can pick up the phone and call, that we're all in this no matter what size your district, that we're all in it together. So the Leadership Network is committed to addressing AASA's mission to develop and support school system leaders like you that will ensure the transformation of our schools so that each child has access to equitable, rigorous, and relevant education opportunities. This year, again, over 2,000 participants are engaging in 35 different programs designed to prepare our aspiring leaders, to certify our current leaders, to develop our women and urban leaders, create a pipeline to the superintendency by partnering with our elementary and secondary principals associations, to offer aspiring principal programs and academies, and lead the transformation movement through the implementation of personalized learning, redefining ready, social and emotional learning, youth apprenticeships, and much more. Uh -huh.